This video will show how to connect your WEC3 controller to your home Wi-Fi. To start, go into your settings on your device and ensure that the Wi-Fi is selecting the WEC Wi-Fi, which is output by the controller. Next, open up the app called Pixel Dancer. If this screen appears on your app, go ahead and press the X at the bottom of the screen. Next, locate the gear symbol in the upper right hand corner of the app and press it. This is your settings menu. Click on the network mode. The next screen will have three fields of information that you need to enter. The first field is the Wi-Fi name of your household or whatever Wi-Fi you would like to connect the controller to. The second field you are entering is the password for that Wi-Fi. So this is your home Wi-Fi password if you're connecting it to your home Wi-Fi. Now, the last field is the WEC name. Now, you can go ahead and leave it as a WEC-whatever. It's not going to really affect anything. However, as you get more advanced and you have to make behind-the-scenes types of changes, like firmware updates and stuff like that, knowing your WEC name is going to be important. Once the WEC name has been entered, go ahead and either select None or select Master. If you only have one controller, you can leave it on None. If you plan on having multiple controllers, change it over to Master then click Reboot WEC 3. Wait about 15 to 30 seconds for your controller reboot. Once the controller has reset, go ahead and close out the app. You can check the settings on your phone and make sure that you have joined your home Wi-Fi network once again. Some home routers will put out two frequencies with the same name. Even though I only selected CenturyLink 0129, I can select either frequency, and since 5G is faster, I'm going to select the 5G frequency here. Now you can go ahead and close the settings page and reopen your app. Go back to the color screen, and you can use the app normally as long as you're connected to your home Wi-Fi.